One of the most famous and well-known stories in Torah is Moshe's birth and how he was saved from the Nile River by the daughter of Pharaoh, by Papara. But why is this important in the scheme of the entire story of, of, uh, of Shemot, of the Exodus? Do we really need to know personal details about his early life before we get to the crux of his story, where he meets God at the burning bush and he t- at the Sneh, and he tells him that he will be the savior of the Jewish people? The Torah never gives elaborate backstories for any other main characters, or at least not usually. I mean, none of the three Avot have any extensive background about them in the Torah. Neither does Yoshua. Noach doesn't have anything like that. Yosef is already older by the time by the time his brothers by the time his brothers throw him into the pit. And also, yeah, Adam and Ch- Adam and Chava, the first main characters in the Torah, don't even have, don't even seem to have childhoods. At least they don't. I mean, they're already able to talk and do you know, normal adult things by the time they're created. So, what's so important about Moshe's early life? And, and you know, there must be something about it that lends itself to our understanding of Moshe as a savior and hero of the Jewish people, as opposed to any other Jew in Egypt, any other Jewish slave. So, Moshe was obviously special from the moment he was born. The Torah describes his mother, Yocheved, as seeing how beautiful he was as soon as he was born, and Rashi quotes the Talmud in uh, Masechet Sota, in just really the Talmud, and saying that this meant light filled the room. As soon as he was born, light filled the room. So Yocheved re- immediately recognized that he was a, it was a, this was a special baby. Furthermore, Rashi quotes uh, the Talmud in Masechet Nida, and saying that he was born about three months early, which in those times probably meant certain death. And even in modern times, obviously, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to save a baby that is born three months early. So he, he was special to have survived that. You know, in Mo- so also, just in Moshe's case, this three months early birth, it served, it served to allow his mother to be able to be with, with him for three months until the, Egyptian, until the Egyptians came knocking, because they realized, cause they, they counted from when she'd married Amram, so they thought, all right, so he married, she marries Amram, about nine months later, a baby will probably have been born. So they thought it would come out nine months. He came out in six months, three months early, so she actually was able to spend three months with him. And so this is, this is just another miracle about Moshe, seeing how, he, you know, again, how, how he survived this pregnancy and how, you know, he was a baby boy, but his mother didn't have to uh, immediately either have to worry about his death or hide him somewhere. So then finally, when, you know, uh, well, after Yocheved hides Moshe and Bob Paro finds Moshe, the Midrash explains from an unusual verb used in Torah, Vatir Ehu, to mean that she saw God with him. Baparo saw God with Moshe. The Talmud explains further that the Torah includes his crying to say that his voice already sounded like that of a like that of a grown like that of a grown boy when he was just a baby. One more one more miracle about Moshe as a baby was that he could only be nursed by a Jewish woman, and the reason given in the Talmud for this for this is that he would be talking to God in the future and therefore could not be tainted by a non-Jewish nurse. So his mouth had to be kept holy and could only be he could only be nursed by a Jewish woman, uh, namely his mother. So. Moshe's backstory is present in the Torah to serve a very distinct purpose, at least I believe. If the Torah had just introduced him as a young man, we would not have been able to differentiate him from any other Jewish slave. His childhood is portrayed by the Torah in such a way that it allows us to see how extraordinary it was. You know, it could have just been an ordinary childhood, but the Torah uses specific words and outlines specific occurrences in his childhood to show, you know, there was something very special about him from the beginning. Uh... And also, I mean, like, he he survived as a Jewish baby boy in Egypt when you know, Paro was either trying to get midwives to stop the births or telling pe- telling his uh, his officers to throw the throw every baby boy into the river. So, I mean, surviving was obviously pretty hard, pretty tough. You know, he could have just, you know, yeah, so he could have just been, Moshe could have just been an, an, any ordinary person, but the Torah includes his childhood to give us a deeper understanding of why he was so special. So in the same way, we can look at our, at our own lives as, or, as ordinary and relatively uneventful. But if we go deeper and notice the smaller details, we might just understand how extraordinary we really are and how involved God is in our everyday lives.